Vicki Peterson here. I wanted to talk to you today about fruits and vegetables and how to actually get them into your diet. I realized the other day that I talk a lot about increasing one's fruits and vegetables, but not, don't necessarily go into the how. I think you know the why. We've talked about that a lot. But how many do you actually need serving wise and how actually to do that practically. First of all, although we hear a lot about getting five servings of fruits and vegetables, that's a bit of a misnomer. Uh, the research that I did showed that uh, teenage girls, young women, active women, uh, men who are not terribly active, all would require seven servings of fruits and vegetables, four veggie, three fruit. Teenage boys and active adult men actually require nine. So we're more looking at seven and nine servings total, which is quite a bit different than five. I know for many Americans hitting five would be astounding <laughs> because they're so, they fall so far short of that. But I think it's important to know what we're striving for. As far as quantity, a serving is a medium piece of fruit, like an apple, uh, a peach, medium size of both of those, uh, two small plums, a handful of strawberries, a handful of blueberries, about half a cup worth. So other than the average size of, of an apple or, or a small banana, uh, we're talking pretty much about half a cup of fruit is a good way to think about it. For vegetables, it's the same thing. It's half a cup of vegetables, whether they're raw or cooked. And uh, if it's a leafy vegetable like lettuce or spinach, kale, you're talking about a, about four leaves of it or a, a cup, a full cup. So if you took all those that four, four lettuce leaves and squished them down, uh, they should fill up a cup. So that's kind of the quantity we're looking for. But now how do we do it? In order to get that many servings, you're really going to have to start at the beginning of the day. And that's not with a glass of orange juice. I don't want you to include juices. I don't think you should even drink juices unless you are juicing them yourself and you have the kind of blender that keeps all the pulp and the fiber that was found in the fruit intact. So if you have a kind of blender that I have and you can just liquefy your um, blueberries or apple or what have you, including vegetables for that matter, uh, the nutrients are more bioavailable if you juice them. But there shouldn't be any pulp. In some blenders there's, there's pulp that kind of comes out the back end that people throw away and that's all your, your vitamins and nutrients. So if you just can liquefy the fruit or vegetable and then drink it down, beautiful. That, that would be great. But that's different than going to the grocery store and buying apple juice or orange juice or something like that. Okay, so very, very distinct. So we need to start off our day and we tend to think about uh, fruits in the morning. So we could have a couple of servings of fruits, whether we're putting them in a blender as a smoothie or we're eating them. Uh, we would have to get another couple of servings of vegetables for lunch. Uh, recently, my, my daughters were very sweet. They offered to make dinner for my husband and I. We were running a bit late. And um, they took one whole zucchini and chopped it up very fine and, and uh, actually put it in a bit of a tomato sauce with some pasta and they were thinking, wow, a whole zucchini, you know, that was a lot. Well, half a zucchini is, is one serving. So that one zucchini was only two servings and there were four of us, but it was only one serving of a vegetable. So typically when I cook, I make sure we're getting at least two or three servings of vegetables to really achieve our goal of our seven to nine servings every day. So if you realize that half a zucchini is a serving and you're, you're shooting for two or three servings, then maybe you have a salad. And salads are very fun because you can put the lettuce as a serving and just make sure everybody is getting a cup worth. Uh, half an avocado is a serving of, of fruit and then you can have um, tomatoes and celery and carrot and I, I like to put a lot of things on my salad so it's colorful it's fun to eat because there's a lot of different things in there and you're getting not only a lot of variety but you're getting a lot of servings so that's a fun easy way to do it I do a lot of vegetable stir fries I often start with onions or garlic half an onion is one serving of a vegetable just so you know uh, if you go to my blog which is glutendoctors.blogspot.com 
and uh, in July, July 21st, I'm going to check, hold on, yes, Wednesday, July 21st is when I did a blog post on fruits and vegetables. And you can actually just see and read all the serving sizes to get an idea. Uh, so you can have that to, to look at. But it's just, it's very important that we plan our day. I was, I also like to watch the cooking shows in the morning as I exercise, and uh, this morning, a cute woman, she's, she's very well known, southern, very fun to watch, but she made this <laughs> uh, chicken fried steak and biscuits and gravy. And this entire plate, everything was beige, it was all just shades of beige, which is not a good color when you're trying to get a lot of phytonutrients and, uh, and good, good for you vitamins. And then at the last minute she says, oh, we need a little green. And I thought, oh, good. You know, because I just turned it on. I hadn't seen it from the beginning. And I said, great, she's made some vegetables. And she put on two green, spring green onions, you know, and on the plate. Now, who is going to just start chomping on a spring green onion? She did it more for the aesthetics of what the plate looked like than anything to do with eating a vegetable. And all too often when we as Americans go to restaurants, that's what we see, you know, that sort of throwaway piece of tomato or that throwaway piece of lettuce. That's just a garnish. It's just there to kind of make things look pretty, but, but nothing to actually eat. I mean, when you think of that half a piece of lettuce that you get on your plate um, when you go to certain restaurants, what is that, a quarter of a serving of vegetables? I, I think we'd be astounded to find out how many people don't even reach one serving, let alone their seven to nine. But if you plan it a little bit, and you start doing it, you'll find that you get better at it. You can definitely watch the, the cooking channel and get some ideas of how to prepare these things. But just really think in quantities. And I find my body misses them if I'm traveling and I go a day and I didn't quite get all those servings. I can tell. I can really feel it. So play that game. Try to really increase your servings and get to those seven or nine, depending on who you are and your age and your activity level. And see if you don't feel a lot better. Okay, so until next time, I wish you very good health.